I had a chance to sit down with Travis Garretts, a Moltonian and an aerial skier that was in Vancouver. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this interview. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Garretts from Canada, we are ready at the top. Up he's done course. joined now by a local skier, Travis Garretts. Now, Travis, thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. Now, I'm fascinated by your sport, aerial skiing. What would make you want to jump off a hill and do tricks? You know, I love going upside down. When I was six years old, I was a skier, and at 10, I won a big air competition held in Quebec. The coach there uh, told me to start training in Lake Placid on the water ramps, and ever since then, I've been hooked. So right from er an early age, you were one of those crazy daredevils doing all the crazy things. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Lake Placid is a great training facility as well. Yeah, it's really good, actually. And now we have one in Quebec City, which I go to every summer. And, you know, at the age of 10, I was on trampolines, in the gymnastics. Uh, it was great. So now for training... Um, Back, back in the day you were doing gymnastics, uh, can you take me through a training day for you? Uh, what's involved in being involved at the top level of uh, aerial skiing? Right now, uh, in the summertime, we train about two sessions of jumping into the water ramps, and then we're always in the gym afterwards for about two hours. So um, regular days from 7 till 5 o'clock at night. And you're working pretty solid throughout, lift, lifting weights? lifting weights uh, when you're off the, off the slopes? Yeah, always lifting weights when I'm home, jumping on trampolines. We do a lot of spatial awareness training. So your legs must be like tree trunks then. <laughs> That's the goal, yeah. Local Milton ladies, he has really nice legs. So <laughs> <laughs> now, um, with skiing, uh, you've been able to do a lot of traveling that most ordinary people would not normally be able to do. Um, I understand you rode in Vancouver uh, during the Olympics. Can you tell us about that experience? Uh, it was such a great experience to be there. I was training and I was actually an alternate at the, the Olympics, uh, jumping with the best in the world. It was, it was truly incredible. Now, with, uh, with that, um, were you able to get some really good tips from the top competitors there? Were they able to, able to mentor you and help you out a little bit? Definitely. You know, their major concern was jumping and performing well. Uh, but they definitely gave us advice and, you know, how to cope with different forms of stress and food and cultures and stuff. Now, besides Vancouver, you've been pretty busy uh, on the other side of the ocean uh, to Russia, I believe. Right? Yeah, I just got back from Russia and Belarus where we had two World Cups. In Russia, I placed ninth or 10th, and then uh, Belarus, I was, well, just got back on Sunday. <laughs> so... Travis is a little jet lagged right now, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to grill you too hard. Um, now, with um, with all your training you're doing, um, the government gives you some money, uh, but most of your funds come from yourself. You have to raise your own money. I do, and you know the the town of Milton and all the you know there's a whole bunch of people in the community that are helping me out. We have fundraisers and events to help fund my training. And skiing is not cheap, especially at an elite level. Yeah. Um, now, how, how much do you think a year your sport costs you? Uh, probably close to $30,000 a year. Yeah. Uh, that, that's definitely not cheap. And, no. and especially if you want to compete with the best in the world, you have to have the best equipment, best training. You do. You have to go full out. Exactly. You need to eat well. You need to you know, be accommodated in the right places. And it all costs a lot of money. Yeah. So moving forward now, you're yep. 19, yep. Uh, you still have many years ahead of you in skiing. Uh, what would you like to accomplish? I want to win the 2014 Olympics. 2014, gold medal 2014 Olympics. I do, yeah, yeah. So right now that's in your bullseye. Yeah. Perfect. Now, uh, coming up, uh, you will be in Quebec City for the Nationals. Yeah, National Championships. Uh, does that usually run for a week? We'll be training for two weeks and then competing um, for, you know, another a week of training. 
another week of training. Yeah. Wow, that's that's quite a lot of training, and yeah. that's the last event for the season for you, and then you get a little off season. Yeah, a little off season. That's like two weeks before I'm back in uh, training camps back in Quebec City. So. Back in Quebec. Yeah. Well, and actually, Travis has brought with him uh, some hardware he collected. Uh, rookie of the year, I believe, yep. of all uh, com all national uh, competitors. Rookie of the year. Let's yep. uh, let's bring it out. Yeah. FIS Rookie of the Year. It was a great honor to uh, be awarded this. I was just in Belarus where they had the banquet dinner and they gave me this trophy and it was it was pretty cool. That's, well, top rookie in the world. Yeah. That's that's nothing to. Uh, well, that's a pretty great honor uh, to receive. Yeah, it's definitely a step in the right direction, that's for sure. Well, well, a step towards gold medal in 2014? Yeah. Now, we were speaking about the uh, town of Milton supporting uh, your training. Yeah. Um, there is a fundraiser on April 29th at Memorial Arena in Milton up top. Yes. Um, there's going to be dancing, DJ, uh, cash bar, yep. I believe. And all proceeds go to help Travis. Uh, Hopefully, win the 2014 gold medal. <laughs> so, uh, anything helps right now. Uh, Definitely. With you, you know, if it's five dollars, ten dollars. Yeah, it's a fifteen dollar ticket to get in. Uh, it's going to be a great night, food, drinks. It'll be fun. Yeah. And you're helping out a future Olympic champion. I'm, yep. I'm calling it right now. Milton <laughs> Today TV is calling gold medal right now in 2014. Sounds good. Uh, Travis, thanks a lot for coming in. It was a true pleasure, and uh, good luck in Quebec City. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to have some more news.